Hi everyone, welcome back to Chloe Morello. Today I did an Alessandra Ambrosio from the Victoria's Secret models. Um, I did a tutorial inspired by her. I really love the Brazilian girls from the Victoria's Secret show, like Alessandra and Adriana. They're part of my favourites. And I love how with their brown eyes they often do a smoky golden look. I've tried to emulate that and I've recently got a lot of requests to do some more looks with my Naked palette. This is the first Urban Decay Naked palette. I don't have the second one yet, but I hear that it's really good, so I'm looking forward to getting that probably next payday. Um, but yeah, these are the looks, um, the colours. I did mostly use the colours from this palette and then a different highlight colour that you can dupe with pretty much anything. The colours that I used were, in this order, Creep, Smog, and half baked, so these colours that my fingers are underneath. So I've got a black, um, a toasted gold colour, and then a real gold colour. And I'll swatch these for you. That's them. So I've got the black, the smog, and then the half baked. And so that's all you need to recreate this look really and you can probably find some good dupes for most of those as well in your collections already. Now what am I going to do with this? I'll be right back. I've got to wash well, I hope that everyone enjoys this tutorial. If you've got any questions just put them below and I'll try to answer them all. Keep watching if you want to see how to do it. So today we're going to start by priming our lid. I'm using the L'Oreal Decrease and I haven't put any foundation on yet just because the shadows might fall on my eye and I don't want to ruin the foundation if I did that first and then put the eyeshadow on. Next I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked palette and I'm going in with the black colour, it's called Creep, and this little uh, angled brush. Now you're just going to take the brush and starting from the outer part of the eye, I'm going to press that into my lashes. Just sort of like eyeliner. doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Next I'm going to take... There are these two brownie gold colours and I'm going to use both of them in this tutorial. I'm going to take the darker brown colour called Smog on a flat shader brush like this one. It's nice and soft. And I'm just going to pat that all over my lid and blend it up. So you really don't need very much product um, to get you know it all over your eye. It's really nice and blendable and smooth. The last color that I'm using for the eyelid is this color called Half Baked and it's a really pretty um, old gold color. It really reminds me of Woodwinked from MAC, which you could use as a dupe for this. And then I'm going to put this in the inner corner of my eye and blend it into the smog. And I've just blended that all the way under my eye. Now just on my highlight I would like to use a matte colour. This one is called Bone and it's from this Bobbi Brown palette but I know that you can buy that colour um, separately. And I'm just going to use a flat shader brush and I'm just going to swipe that all over my brow bone where no eyeshadow is currently. Then with that brush I'm just going to start doing little circular motions or windscreen wiper motions over the seam of those colours just so that there's no harsh lines like that. Lastly all I want to do is just deepen up the black colour because as you put some of the gold over the top um, it obviously muted that and I just want to keep that nice and vibrant And I'm just going to take a little shader brush and um, sort of smudge that out. 
Now that the eyes are done, I'm going to go ahead and apply this new mascara that I got. It's the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express. And I really like this. I think it's overtaken the Rimmel Max Flush. I'm also going to do my lower lashes as well. Now I'm going to buff my foundation in using my Sigma Tapered Kabuki Brush and the foundation I'm using is the Perfection Lumiere by Chanel. Alright, so I've now got my foundation on and I also did my eyebrows. Uh, I filmed an eyebrow tutorial so that should be um, uploaded soon if not already. So I've just done that, my eyebrows are looking quite nice. And because I got a little bit sunburned at the beach, I want to use um, a golden brown pinky kind of blush. This one is called Bahama Brown. It's like a bronzer. And I want to use this just because it's a very, I've just come out of the sun bronzer. And it will just sort of help my face match the rest of my body right now because I'm looking a bit lobster-like. And I'm going to, I'm actually not swiping this one on as such. I'm patting it and stippling it into my skin. And I'm putting this over my cheekbones. Alessandra and all of those Brazilian goddesses always look like they've been in the sun. I mean, they're they look so beautiful all the time and glowing and I really love that look so I've really tried to emulate that with this and it will look like I've just been in the sun which I kind of have been probably don't need to put any on my nose it's a little bit red to top off this look I mean you can leave it like this it would still look nice but I pretty much would always want to wear lashes with this and I'm going to use my Ardell Demi Wispies. I've already used them last night when I wore this look so that's why they look a bit scummy. I'm going to apply that with my Postal Stamp Tweezers. If you don't have these you need to find out where to get them. You can probably find them on eBay. These are the only way that you should apply false eyelashes in my opinion. The lash glue I'm using is the Duo Lash Adhesive. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put these on. I do have a lash video that's still up on my other channel but I do want to up, um, update that so keep an eye out for that later on on this channel. I'm going to put them on now. So I've put those lashes on and I really like the look of those. They're nice and long but they're very wispy as the name suggests and they look great with smoky looks. Um, yeah, so they look good on, but um, from what I can see, she doesn't often wear the lashes, but they obviously just help us mortals. Now, onto my lips. Um, I'm going to be using a lip liner. It's a little bit darker than my lips, but I want one that's a bit harder than the normal crayon that I use from Lancome. So I'm going to be using really light feathery strokes. And I'm just going to try and make my lips look a little bit more plump on the top. Can you see that? And it's just really light so that when I put the lipstick on you won't really see the liner. So I look like that. Now I'm going to apply this um, lipstick from MAC. It's the Creme de Nude. It's a cream sheen lipstick and it's a nice nude colour but it's sort of um, really creamy and sheer. So It's a good nude that almost lets your real lip colour shine through. On top of that I'm going to use a nude lip gloss. Well everyone, this is the finished look with the nice bronze smoky look with the eyes and then a nude lip and really bronze complexion. So I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. As I said, it's all with the Urban Decay Naked palette and if you don't have that, there's lots of different eyeshadows that you could use. The gold and the brown um, are really popular eyeshadows that you can get in from any brand, I'm sure. 
So I hope that you all went well with this and if you want to try it out I'd love to hear from it. Recently some people have tweeted me looks where they've tried out looks that I've done before. That is so cool to see. So thank you for everyone for doing that. Um, yeah, follow my Twitter. It's uh, twitter.com forward slash Chloe Morello. On my Facebook I really love um, using that as a means to talk to you guys. I upload lots of photos from my personal life. Um, my makeup and then I also talk a little bit about my personal life there I think too if you're interested I mean some people ask me lots of questions about that so I hope that you are enjoying my Chloe Morello channel um, if you've got any requests please let me know and I'll see you in the next video bye